because that mirror absolutely humbled me. <laughs> Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. My name is Delilah Mirai, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Balenciaga Dynasty sunglasses. So let's get into it. I purchased these sunglasses back in June, and I initially found them online, just a bunch of Instagrams, and I just fell in love with them, just the way that they look, but they um, were the rectangle shape. So when I was looking for them, they were either sold out or um, pre-order and I have no patience, so I ended up going into the Balenciaga store here in North Park Center and found the rectangle shape, which I fell in love with, but it was not the same print. It was like a bubble gum color. So I tried them on for fitting, and I'm so glad that I did because it was not a vibe at all. They were not for me in the slightest. Like my face shape did not work with the sunglasses whatsoever and also i found that they were so narrow when they came across your face it almost like obstructed your view because the they were a little bit on the lower side and the lot the top of the frame kind of just ran across your eyeball like right in the middle so i didn't really want that problem while i was driving you know or whatever so i was like no thanks but right next to it they had these which these are a little bit more on the oval shape. They have like a dip down here, but the print is what I loved about it. So I ended up going with these. They only had a couple left and like, I'm so glad that I did because I don't regret this purchase at all. I will say the negative piece of it is the price, but I think it just comes, you know, I mean, you're going into the Balenciaga store, you're, you know you're gonna be spending a little bit of money, right? Um, but it was just way more expensive than like my other sunglasses. So for example, I have Gucci, Fendi, and Dior sunglasses and none of them were as expensive as these. They retail for $450 plus tax. So it is up there, it's definitely an investment piece, but I felt like I was gonna get a lot of use from these shades, especially because my looks are normally very neutral. So I always want to have like a little pop of something, either a lip or I don't know, something. And these were that something for me. So this is what they look like. They have the gold bees here. And I will say they are very heavy. Like they're very, very heavy. Not heavy to where they're uncomfortable, but if I'm gonna grab another pair of sunglasses and compare them to these, they're two different, I mean, two different, um, levels of weight for sure but I like it's not a negative it's just something to call out let me try these on for you so you know what they look like I mean these just feel like a moment and that's exactly what I wanted to get out of it like I wanted it to be more of a statement because I have um, you know black simple sunglasses I have brown and gold sunglasses but nothing with a print as fun as these. So I am like so happy that I purchased these for sure. They were a great purchase. And I think that for the fall, I might end up getting another color in them. I don't know, I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, they were like a, a great, great purchase. So for my review, what I would say is these are 10 out of 10. Um, I absolutely have no, no regrets whatsoever in purchasing them. They did come with like a really nice, heavy case um the lining in the case if you care is just like this felt with the balenciaga print on on it which is cute you know but i mean if you drop this it's definitely your glasses are going to be safe in here for sure um and it did come with this like little microfiber towel to clean your sunglasses with the balenciaga name of course but yeah, I mean, if you guys are really interested in these sunglasses and you've been eyeing the rectangle, rectangular uh, pair um, and you have something that's similar in your closet already, like I would say go for it if you know it fits your, your face shape. If not, I highly suggest you go in the store and try them on because that mirror absolutely humbled me. <laughs> it just was not, it did not look good. So I'm glad that I did that. But like I said, the only bad thing that I would say about the rectangular shape 
glasses, if you're looking at that style, is the obstruction of the view because they kind of sit a little bit lower and it's a little harder to see. My opinion, if somebody's face might be totally different than mine, I'm sure they are, like take that as you wish, but um, these, like I said, are 10 out of 10. I would definitely highly, highly, highly recommend the shades for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some useful information from it and I will catch you guys next week. Every, every week we post or I post a video on Sunday. Um, so I hope to catch you here next week. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye.